Here. So in this video, I want to discuss about how to go about list index out of range errors in Python. So I would be discussing what you can do in terms of debugging technique, how you can find out where is the problem and what is the problem in the code and how you can go about solving it. Uh, so let's look at one of the code that I have here, which gives list index out of range error. So the first hint that we would want to go get is from the traceback itself. So here it says line number five has list index out of range. So that basically means we are trying to access an element in the list, which is uh, whose index is beyond the uh, beyond the last index in the list. So the only place where we are accessing any element over here in line five is this this thing. So basically it indicates that element must be what is causing the error. So what we could do in a very in a very basic sense is put out a print statement just before this line, printing out element and length of initial list to see what is the problem. I don't know what the code is doing or it's trying to do, uh, but this is how I would go about debugging it. Now if I print it out, I see that elements value is five while the list's length is also five. And if you know the basics of array, then you know if the length of the list is five, then your index ranges from zero to four. So if your element itself is five, that means you're trying to access something that is not there in the list. So that is why you're getting this list index out of range. Now the way we would solve this problem is to understand what it is trying to do algorithmically and then resolve the basic cause of the issue. So here what we are trying to do is from an initial list we are trying to build a square list which is basically the square of each of the elements. So now here, if you see in line number four, we are trying to loop over the elements of the list. And then we are trying to access uh, the value at an index, which is equal to element. But element itself is not the index. So what we should be doing instead is we should be looping over the indexes in the initial list and then access the element at that index and then raise it to the power of two. This is one of the ways we could do it. Or if we want to loop over the elements itself, what we would need to do is we would just need to do element to the power of power two raised to the power of two and that should give us the square so here you can see that this fixed the code now let's try to look at another code and try to debug that so here we see that line number three is causing the issue and it says that list index is out of range so again very naively we would open the code and just before we are trying to access this, we would print out i and len of i, len of l, sorry, and just run the code. So here we see that initially i's value is 0, then it is 1, then it is 2, then it is 3, and then it is 4. So you know that the length of l, if we open the code, we see that L has five elements and we do a for loop over the indexes so I would range from 0 to 4 which is the case over here that we can see that I is ranging from 0 to 4 but as you can see the length of the list is decreasing so basically in this code we are doing some operation we are trying to modify the list so the pop operation basically changes the length of the list so if you remember from Python basics, if you pop out an element, it would reduce the length by one and it would remove that element from the list. So what is happening over here is your length of the list is decreasing and you are ranging, you are looping from zero to four, but the length has reduced to three. 
So now you are at an index 4, but the length is 3, so you're trying to access an element which does not exist in the list anymore. So how do you go about fixing the situation? First of all, the reason it happens is because when you do a for loop, it initializes the values of i initially. It doesn't do it each time like in a while loop. So the way I would fix it basically would be to change a for loop with a while loop. So what I would do is I would initialize i to 0 and while i is less than this, if this is while i is less than length of l, this, and then I would increment i towards the end, and then I think we are missing the print statement. So what we are want to do is what this code was trying to do initially is it was trying to remove all the threes from the list. Now again, if we see we are doing the same thing, but in the while loop, each time your condition is evaluated, it would work with a new length, unlike the for loop where the i values were initialized at the beginning and it was not checking the length again and again as it was changing. So now if we run the code, we see that it gives out the list with threes removed as we wanted it to. So these are the basic ideas about how to go about debugging list index out of range. First is to look at the stack trace and try to identify where in the code you're trying to uh, access an element which is out of range. And then do a couple of print statements around that line to see what is the value of that index and what is the actual length of the list. And this would give you an indication that there is something wrong with the logic with the algorithm in your code and that is how you would go about debugging this list index out of range. I hope you um, liked this uh, video and found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.